How's it going everybody? I'm Cloud Knight from Nightville Entertainment here and this is episode 17. We're going to be going over the money system. If you've been following along in the tutorial series, you know we've been using the action based template so I highly recommend you to use it just to be on basic and topics of how we are in this series that we're going on. And I also want to give you guys an invitation to the discord where everybody is um, getting along great. There's a lot of ideas going on, arts being shared. Everything's going on. Just hop in here, guys, and you can um, hang out with us if you have any questions or concerns. We are starting to get it popping. And also, as always, hit the subscribe button, stay up to date for more tutorials and content. So let's get into the tutorial here. So the first thing we're going to do is create a new scene. And in this scene, I'm just going to call it something ba very basic called Money System. And if I can spell it the, the right way. So, okay, so Money System. The first thing we're going to do in this scene is create is create a variable what the heck's going on here do I have to reload my project what's okay let's try reopening my project I don't know what's going on let's try closing it yep let's open it again I don't know what happened I don't know why it's doing that wouldn't let me type anything so money system show okay there we go so not number yeah number variable okay so we go number variable all right finally we got it so the first thing we're going to do is want to make a variable and inside this variable we're going to give it a um all right uh, what uh, we're going to give it a variable so we're going to use uh, something that's free so we're going to just use uh it would be uh global so it's g and then the number and we're going to call we're going to use number five so we're going to make a variable and i'm going to call this the money and it's going to have a value and we don't know what value we're going to have yet um so we're just going to keep that blank for now okay so now we're going to go into the collections tab and inside the collection well actually no first we're going to go into the resources manager because i have something i want to upload so i'm going into the pictures and i'm going to import the UI back that I wanted to use and now we're going to go into the common events and we're going to create two common events here so the first common event is just going to be called the money and then the second common event delete this folder here I don't know why I did that and the second common event we're going to call this erase money erase money so for the first thing since it's pretty easy and in, in in the erase money common event we're just going to do um, erase picture and also erase text so that way what's going to happen is you're going to have the picture um, be erased and the text of the money is going to be erased but under the money character category we're going to do show picture and we're going to give the picture what it is so I'm going to be using the UI back I'm going to give it a direct number because I want to put it in the corner here where the money's just gonna pop up. And then what we're gonna do is show text. So show text. Inside the show text tab, we're going to enter the text. No, thank you. We're gonna have the text as global number, number five, and we're gonna close it like that. Uh, make sure you have the brackets like that. And then we're gonna, um, I'm gonna call it whatever you wanna call it. Um, I'm gonna just call it money, money, global number, number five, and then, um, you can have like whatever you want to show, like I'll just do the dollar sign or something like that. So we're just going to click save. Okay. So now we're going to click the save. We're going to go back into the scene where you can see it's global number five money. And we're going to give the value, I don't know. We're going to give the value, uh, for this tutorial purposes, we'll say 500. So we're going to do change background. Inside the background, we're just going to give it, uh, there you go, some night. And we're going to do join scene. Going to do my man cloud. Going to give him a happy expression. And we're, oh, actually, no, we're not going to join him with happy. We're going to just make him. Why I do that? We're gonna just give him a normal expression. 
normal. Okay, we're gonna give him a normal expression, and then we're going to do show text. Not show text. Tech. Yeah, show text. That's what I was right. Show message. Show message. Show message. Show text. Sorry. So, there we go. And under show message, we're gonna be like, "Hey, dude, wanna borrow five hundred dollars?" Question mark. So it's like, "Hey, dude, wanna borrow five hundred dollars?" And then, of course, you're just going to do um, what you would say in this aspect is obviously, yes, you're going to want to borrow that money. So you're going to what you're going to write is add choice, another add choice. So you're going to do two add choices. So you've got the variable of the money set. We've already created it in the common events tabs where we have the money and the race money. But just to set it up for the tutorial purposes, we're just going to have this. So you have the number, the, the variable, the background. We have Cloud joining. He's like, dude, you want to borrow 500? We're going to have the choices. So we're just going to have yes, going to have no. And then we're just going to show the choices. Show choices. We got yes or no. I'm just going to give them a uh, better position because I don't like the way that looked. Um, I want a direct can have the yes here I will put the yeah I don't know we'll put the yes here and then we're just gonna do direct and put the no next to it or something like that let's see if it looks good there we go that's cool so it's like hey dude you want to buy 500 you got yes or no and what's going to happen is now we're gonna do um we're gonna do label and this is gonna be for yes and then we're gonna do label and then this is gonna be for no under no we're just going to put show message thank you I need my money <laughs> thank you I need my money clouds gonna say we're gonna give him that and we're gonna make him gonna give him happy and then under the yes we're gonna do show message oh, um then I was hoping you would say no cloud doesn't want to give money I like money I don't want to give money if we're giving money away that's sad it's a sad day for cloud it's a very sad day so what's going to happen is now we're gonna do call common event and then inside the common event, we're going to do the money. As you can see, boop, we got the money right there. Um, and then we're going to do... Um, we can do a little sound. We're going to do play sound. And inside the sound, make sure you drag it above for the yes. Inside the sound, we're going to give it a little... Um, not that. We need like a system sound. We need like a. We need something. Cell phone ring? No, it's. We need something like a. We need something like. Ding ding! Or something like that, you know? No, that's so stupid. Buzz? I don't like the I don't like the sounds. Music effects. Oh, a chime. That's way too. What can we use, guys? I don't know. I want to use something. Maybe a page turn. It's just too loud. We need something just like a quick. I don't know what to use, guys. Maybe a load. There we go. We can use the load. So it's like, boop. Money's been deposited. Um, we saw the money, but there we go. So now we have the money and then it's going to show you the money and then we're going to just drag the, the, the message out. So what's going to happen is if you say yes, you're going to get the money deposited and he's going to be like, oh man, I was hoping you would say no. And then we're going to, um, erase call common event and we're going to do erase the money and then the money should be gone. Right, and then we're going to do 
jump to label and we're gonna just do finished we're gonna put that under the erase money and then we're gonna have label and inside this label oh, come on this side this label it is our finished so now we're just going to save and I want to change one thing in the collections tab with this because you have the the money the show picture I want to give it a direct uh, let's see when you're in here uh, oh we have to use the text too. the text got to be where we want the money to show so I'm going to give it a uh, top right that's where I want the money to show and let's see if we can get that to work let's save and let's see what happens oh you can probably not see the the, the icon because of the background let's change the background to something a little bit more there we go sunset so we can see everything and then what's going to happen boom there we go we're going to change the text a little bit because it's like needs to be there a little bit less um predefined uh, see top right is good but I wish I could like really use it where I want I can do calculated but then I gotta know the exact um, the exact placement um I guess right here it would be 9 944 negative. 11 I guess we can try it's all trial and error here guys the, the tutorial is pretty much done but I'm just trying to show you you know if you wanted to get exact this is how you would do it oh man no that's not how you do it money it's almost there but not quite um, I'm just gonna go with the predefined you just have to tweak it yourself guys and you'll see it um, right there um, you'll see it as you tweak it but that is the tutorial. So now that I saved it, we're going to set money system as the intro scene. Sorry, this tutorial is a little bit messy. Um, but that is how you guys create a money system. Let's go into it and I'll show you how it all works right here. Hey, dude, want to borrow 500? Nah, I don't want to borrow that. Oh, man, I was hoping you'd say no. But the thing, the text came in. I don't know why the text came in. But let's do it again. Boop. Let's do this. Oh, we didn't add the no, that's why. So we're going to fix that too. So it's like, hey dude, want to borrow 500? Yes. Boom. Why is it saying cloud? It's supposed to be saying uh, the 500. See, it says it up here. Not cloud. Hmm. Oh, maybe if we just do this. There we go. That's how you do it. So make sure your order is call the call the money and then erase it. So what should happen is we're gonna click yes. And what's gonna happen is hey dude, wanna borrow five hundred? Yes. I was hoping you say no. It still says cloud. Why does it say cloud in the thing? Oh, that's why. Uh, make sure you have it set to wait and make sure you have that set to wait. There we go. Sheesh, this tutorial is so sloppy, guys. I apologize. Um, I'm just, I'm rusty. It's been a couple of days. I've been working like hectic. Uh, and I haven't been able to use the virtual novel maker as much as I like to. And, but that is pretty much how you create a money system. Money right there, 500. I don't know why cloud keeps popping up in the way. Uh, let's give it some... 500, 500, play, yes, and let's try it. It says narrator cloud. Why does it say narrator cloud when the money, this is some glitch from the, er, the editor. Cause look, it's showing money 500. And then it says cloud afterwards. Um, I don't know why it's showing that afterwards. Maybe if I just do visible message box or something like that. Let me just do uh, message 
box visibility and I set it on to yes this all what the heck let's try that let's see if that works just to get you guys to show I mean I, sh I mean, you guys see it's working in the, e in the editor but it seems to not be working in the, the menu for some reason I don't know why what is going on what is going on what am I doing wrong here It's showing the money. Okay, let's try it. I don't know what's going on, guys. I'm trying the best that I can. For some reason, it's just not wanting to load. Why does it say narrator cloud? I don't understand why that of all things is showing up in in the um. No, there we go. Okay. That's how you do it. So make sure it's on a layer. Um, and then on the erase, you just have the one. Sheesh. And that's how you do it, guys. I just wanted to do trial and error, boys. Trial and error. Make sure you use layers. That's why um, I had problems. Make sure you use your layers. And then make sure you erase the layers. And then that is how you do it. Boom, money 500, and it's gone. You guys have a God-blessed day, and I'll see y'all in the next tutorial. There's a lot of errors in here. I'm so sorry. I'm rusty. God bless, and peace.